Yeah. Good evening. I'm going to open up the workshop session of the Asbury Park City Council. Councilmember Clayton? Here. Councilmember Kendall? Here. Councilmember Werner? Here. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Mayor Moore? Here. Okay, uh, review from last night. Uh, because of the scheduling and the fact that the city council meeting was last night and there was a full uh, play today, review from last night's workshop session will be brought up at the next uh, workshop session of the city council. Uh, on the workshop session, we have one add-on, and that is uh, for the code enforcement department. The city manager is looking for direction from the council uh, to investigate or pursue the feasibility of possibly outsourcing some of the functions of the code enforcement department. Okay. Okay. So, I Matters to be discussed by city council. Yeah, so I'll just give an update to the public. The Bradley Cove appraisal, and I guess the Tri City News wrote about it a couple of weeks ago. But the Bradley Cove appraisal, we had two independent appraisers, um, and through the Green Acres process, because we got the Green Acres of order 1.1 million, the, they came in at an average of 3.2 million for the tract of land there. Um, higher than I had hoped, but I think that's what you get when you get a, you, an honest appraisal. Uh, so it's not, we've, there's, there's a number of steps now. We've applied for a municipal grant from the county, which would add another 250,000, get it up to close to 1.4. And then there's a variety of ways to close that gap. Um, one is the negotiations with ISTAR. Um, regarding the waterfront redevelopment agreement and redevelopers agreement amendments, which have been in the works for years. Um, I know that's a priority for this council. There is also obviously the county that could come help out and um, private, private donations and foundations. So that's just kind of where we're at. And uh, if you see Brian on the street, let him know we'd like a uh, cheaper price. Yep. Okay. Uh, Kevin, on the corner of Memorial Drive and Spring Springwood Avenue, the county did some work, and there's still it's still blocked off. Do you know when that's going to be opened up? No, but I'll look into that tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, I'll look into it tomorrow. The county did the work. They, they did the cutaway so the trucks can make the turn. The right turn lane. They're having problems with the contractor. They're trying to. They're trying to resolve it. Uh, that project was almost supposed to be done by now, and so they're way behind schedule. So yeah, if we can get an update, I asked Christine Baller a couple of weeks ago to get an update, and that's the update. They're having problems with the contractor. Okay. I will follow up again and again tomorrow. All right. Um, just a reminder that the Quality of Life Committee has a citywide cleanup starting this Saturday, October 10th from 9 to 12. This week will be Asbury Avenue and everything south. The following weekend, October 17th, will be Asbury Avenue and everything north. There will be a shredder available for anyone's use. It's an industrial size shredder, so bring all the things that you've been waiting to get rid of. It will be based right here in the City Hall um, parking lot. On the 17th, the American Red Cross, along with the Quality of Life Committee, will be dis dis distributing um, smoke detectors. The base operation is going to be the Senior Center, and they're going to be going out in the Senior Center. They plan to distribute up to 400 or more smoke detectors. Part of the plan is to not only um, give out the smoke detectors, but also do some education to make sure that people have a plan for exiting their home in the event of a fire, that they have thought about where they're going to meet so that everyone knows that everyone was, was able to get out safely. And, and this will happen on the 17th 
between the hours of 9 and 3. Um, we also have in the lobby of City Hall a rotating art show. And these were pictures that were created by the youth of Asbury Park and all of the schools from kindergarten to the 12th grade. So every week, the, the artwork is going to change. This week, it's the Thurgood Marshall kindergarten to second grade. Next week, it will be, I think, again, Thurgood Marshall, third to fifth grade. And this is going to go on from now until um, November, the last week in November. So it's kindergarten through high school. And you're going to be amazed at some of the work that they have created. It's really inspiring. And that's where the Equality of Life got their idea for the themes that we are going to be pursuing this year. And last, <coughs> the Quality of Life is also um, creating videos about recycling, how to recycle, what to be recycle, and you'll be able to see those on APTV. And that's it. Thank you, Jason. Yes, I have one thing. Uh, this is a recommendation to the council that the council consider a random drug test for everyone that works in the municipality of this building. Now, I would like to know from Fred, how will we go about that? Should it be a resolution? Should it be an ordinance? Or? First, what I would do is I would review the matter with Labor Council, and then we would get back to you with our opinion uh, with regard to legal issues associated with that, and then we would give you a, a plan of action as to how you would effectuate it. All right, then, thank you. That's all I have. The only thing I had, and I had nothing except to segue maybe on what Jesse said, since 2005, I've been asking the city to adopt a policy, so you can talk to the Labor Council about this, for a fitness for duty policy, where every employee, including mayor and council, you know, and, and I guess drug testing would be a part of that. But a, a, something, as a deputy director of public means, I asked and never got, maybe with the new council we can get it. I, I think it's important that everybody is fit to work. So if you could ask the labor attorney to look into that, that's all I have. Okay. okay. Matters from the city manager. I have nothing, and I also have nothing to report from the city manager. <laughs> Matters from city attorney. Yes, I have one matter. Um, as the public may recall, uh, previously the council authorized the city manager to advertise uh, an RFP, otherwise known as a request for proposals, seeking proposals from private vendors uh, to provide serv certain services related to the parking operations of the city, including management, maintenance, revenue enhancement, <laughs> etc. There were eight separate services. And when the city put this out to RFP, it was clear that the city could choose to award one or more of the services or none at all. We could reject and decide not to move forward with it. The RFP was advertised. The due date for proposals was today. Three proposals were duly received by the deadline in the city clerk's office. The proposals will now be reviewed by a subcommittee of the parking advisory committee, and a recommendation will be made to the council for a possible award of a contract at a future council meeting. But I just wanted to let everyone know that the proposals were received today and we received three. Sit. All right, um, give me a motion to adjourn workshop session. We got about five minutes before we have to go in the other one. Move it. Second. Okay.